Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about two methods of converting decimal number to binary. Both the methods are simple to use. You can try and understand both of them and use the one which makes more sense to you. So the first one uh, in this method, what you do is that you find the largest power of two, which fits within that number and you put one there. Then you subtract that decimal number by that power value and repeat the process until the number reduces to zero. We will see it with an example. Let's say you have to convert 50 to binary. Now I have put in the two's power value at respective places. And so this is the value at fifth place and 16 is the value at fourth place and so on and so forth. And then I have mentioned the places also. Uh, to easily understand the example. I did not put in the sixth place uh, because at sixth place, the two's power value is 64, which is higher than 50. So clearly 64 does not fit in within number 50. Now going by the definition, so 32 fits. So we will put one at fifth place. Now you would reduce 50 by 32 and the number that you have in hand at 18 is 18. And for 18, you would again do the same process which we did here in the step one. Uh, the number that fits within 18 is 16. And so we're going to put one at fourth place as well. Then we move on. We uh, subtract 16 from 18 and we get two. And uh, then we look for uh, the two's power value, which is going to fit within two. And there is only one value that can fit in within two, which is two. And uh, then we just go and we put one at uh, the second place. And then we continue again. And what we are looking at, we are looking at two minus two zero. And that means everything is zero now. So we're going to put, um, this uh, at first place and since the decimal number is now reduced to zero we have to stop the process and we have the number here so this is the binary representation of number 50 by this method you can also cross check whether this number is correct or not and to do that you just have to do 32 plus 16 which is 48 and then 48 plus 2 which is 50 so this representation of um, decimal number 50 is correct. The second method. In the second method, what you do is that you divide the decimal number by two. If remainder is one, then we put one as zero, and then we divide the quotient and continue until quotient becomes zero. We will put the one or zeros from right to left in this process. Let's look at with the same example. We have the decimal number 50. 50 divided by two, quotient is 25, remainder is zero. Then we divide 25 by two, the quotient is 12, remainder is one. We continue until we get quotient as zero. And then we write the uh, binary numbers. So we are writing zero, one, zero zero one one same number as expected so i hope you have learned the uh, methods to convert decimal number to binary do let me know if you have any questions i would be very happy to answer your questions thank you